This project has just been life-changing for Burr. We've been working on this wall for Clyde for a long time. This is a way of keeping connected with them and it's a way of dealing with bereavement. For many years there wasn't a place for her. She was at home and she was in an upstairs bedroom looking down on a busy street. So she learned to be creative then on her own and to see Bernadette uh, flourish here for her to discover her own talent. She has found her own way to cope with her life with great uh, courage and bravery and intuition. And I think that's part of her, isn't that right? That the wall was to show other people how you can bereave in different ways. Yeah. And her way is for her. And, and she was saying, surround your loved ones with stars and happiness for yeah. they're in a place of yeah. peace. It's just that thing of getting it out there. And here we have this project. And Bear has got it out. People have come to see it and been very touched by it. It's very emotional, actually, because we, we have uh, Clive's family here as well. So they can't believe that after 10 years, we're still remembering him, you know, and his wonderful qualities. To have a wall dedicated to my brother, it just blew my mind. And it was lovely for us to think as a family that somebody else was keeping his memory there as well, not just us, but that she was keeping him alive for herself and now for people all over Dublin. And we've got messages from people all, all over the country saying that they're coming to see the billboard here and everything. I remember somebody saying to me, well, if you do art, you have to display it, you have to have an exhibition. And some people just do it for themselves. But when given a chance to display it, and Bear has, like it's monumental then I think and you know that it has a way of connecting um, with other people and she has certainly connected. It has started many conversations here in the village and I'd say other people will talk about it because you go and see it and everything and like people all grieve in different ways and this is lovely that her grief but it's, it's coming out through the art which, which I, I just find wonderful, that she can express herself, but other people can enjoy and hear about Clive, because he was, he was an amazing character. People talk about dying three times. We die when our body dies. We die when our family expires, and we die when our name is last said. And this is a fantastic example of keeping somebody alive in everybody's memory. When Burr is doing something, she's remembering him and it's like she's with him and she's thinking about him and it's her time because she always did things with him every single day so now she draws every day. It's a way of uh, understanding really that he's still always close by. Certainly today I think he's very close by. To keep Clive's memory alive, she's used art as a way of doing that and I think all artists in some ways use art to express something, whether it's deeply emotional or Whatever it is, it's just that thing of getting it out there. A lot of thought, a lot of stuff goes into making art, and Bear certainly has put her heart and soul into this. The best thing, I think, is just the realisation of, of what it has done for Bernadette in terms of her confidence. She was always doing art, and it was ending up in a, in a box. But now to see it up, uh, it's sort of, yeah, she, she's an artist.